Okay. Let me know if you can hear me. All right. I had to change a few things around. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah. So I had to put the whole setup on. Had to change the camera, move the camera, situate the camera. Um, I had bought, hello, Rosemary. I bought a splitter, an HDMI splitter for you. Those of you who might not know what that is, it just takes the video and put it on two devices. So, um, you guys are looking at me and I'm looking at you through the 40 inch TV, but I'm also have it online here. Um, looking at it through uh, StreamYard. So I can, I'm so used to looking at it on the screen. So you might look at me here and see my eyes shift up there. That's because I'm looking at it from the, the big TV monitor. So if your text come through, and also I have a phone like right here. So I can look at the text um from here or from over there but it seems to show on my phone a little bit better it comes a little faster so but all right down below um red green brown yellow white all right uh i'll be using a little bit of glycerin i should tape it down so it doesn't slide all over the place if i was smart but I've never known, been known to be that smart, so we'll tape it down anyway. All right, put it on the bottom here. We'll put it right about here. You guys maybe should see it. <coughs> you see it a little bit anyway. I think I made it out of focus when I did that. Should pop back in focus. Maybe. Maybe not. But anyway. Alright. I'm going to go for some uh, yellow roses. I'm going to do a different approach. I'm going to put some uh, thorny branches on here first. Hello, hey, Johnny Simmons. How are you? Okay, you guys can hear me. As long as you hear me good, you hear me clear, you hear me over the music, um, we're good to go. Alright. And I'll try to look at this camera a little bit more, too. I have a lapel mic. If um, you're not going to see it, it's just below the camera frame. Um, but it's going into the computer, and so you guys should be able to see me or hear me. Um, it should override the camera back there. So I don't sound like I'm in a tin can or something. My last few videos, the audio was kind of messed up. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's get on with it. I'm gonna use a quarter inch brush, fourth inch brush. All right, I'll dip a little glycerin in there. I'll probably be wiping off a lot of the um, extra paint that I might not need. I'll go into my brown here. Let's put it in there. Mm, I might wanna slap some green in that brown. All right, just mix it up in there really good. And we'll get some thorny um, 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 things going on now I didn't know the RV DJ was on it is Wednesday so I think she is on regularly on Wednesday I didn't know until it was too late I wouldn't have came on if she was on okay uh, let's put one you guys should be able to see things pretty pretty good we'll, we'll put a branch right here Now, it's kind of my fault that I don't do this or have enough paint, more or less, for it. I'll keep that little knob there. All right, so we got one here. Get some more paint, some more brown, some more green. Mix it in there, get some glycerin, put it in there. I work with heavy body acrylic paint. The glycerin just loosens the paint up. I don't want too much glycerin in it because then it becomes super transparent. And I don't want that right now. All right. <clears throat> okay. Um, I like that little knob there. We'll, we'll create another knob. Maybe we'll create another knob right here. And with that little knob, I'll just get a little offshoot of a little branch right up in here. I'll highlight these. Well, 
I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing fair. I'm all right. I'm, like many other people, I have my days. <clears throat> so, you know, how that goes. All right. We'll, we'll put another branch. Um, maybe we'll do a, a wide branch. So we'll get it a little thick here. And I'll, I'll come up with one right in here. Like that. I've never really done uh, bushes with, or florals with uh, stems. Don't know why. I guess it just never really come to mind. And I'll have one kind of come off the page this way. But feel free to talk to me, chat. Also, feel free to hit that thumbs up button or thumbs down. Okay, I'll use a little bit of um, a little touch of white. Now, the white will <clears throat> determine where the light source is coming from, obviously. And I guess I'll have it come from over here. Just let it skip around like so. I'll wipe some off and I'll just kind of softly blend that in there. Blend it in there really soft. Get some more. And uh, come around here. brighten this up a little bit more I'll just wipe off the extra paint and I'll just fade it in there a bit I think that looks fair that's all right let's get some more of the bright stuff put it in here I only want it on one part of the brush that's all I need I have to see where I'm positioned on, um, on camera so I don't block all of this on you guys. I've been known to do that, so I have to be very self-aware. The background color is a mixture of black and red with um, soft white. Soft white or mixing white or blending white, that's what they call it. And it's, not op it's not opaque at all. Um, and that's just what it is. You use it in the mouth just to lighten the color of whatever color you're putting it over. And that's all it to do. It just lightens the color. Okay. No more, no less. Just lightens it up. background and um, you know I'm adding them in there it's still background let me make sure that this is um, focused I'll focus in on that all right I have manual focus for the camera in the back I have to because if my head comes in the way or whatever you know the camera just does one of those numbers we don't want that. So yeah, um, some kind of rose color and then black. I use glycerin. Um, this is 12 by 18 inch watercolor paper, double glued watercolor paper. It's two sheets glued together. Then I use soft white to blend and give me a nice light spot in there. Okay, but that's all I did basically. Okay, let's go with red. Red is a very powerful color. I always tend to end up getting or using a lot of it, and I shouldn't. We'll even that out. Then we get some of its opposite color, put it in there, and the color dark it gets. 
you keep playing with this or you add a very dark blue you'll get a natural black with this okay that red is very strong not intentional I just put too much of it in there now that I did put too much in there I'll, I'll show you a very dark blue I, I didn't intend to really have blue in this painting um, so I'll just use a touch of it right here I didn't want to add any blue in this, so. Okay, there's a little touch of blue in this. Okay, and now you get, see this? See that? All right, you got a very nice, nice dark. This would be a great mountain mix color, nice shadow color if you choose to add glaze. Okay, so I showed you the colors to use for that. Okay, all right, let's go come back here. And we'll put, um, see if I can get away with it with this. I should be able to. And we have little, little thorny things here. Pull the brush toward me and keep a nice, crisp, sharp edge. Now, as I'm adding these in here, space them out a little bit more. I'll put, um, because you're obviously not going to see them too much here, but I'll add some, uh, I'll add some um, some highlights to them. It's obviously you'll see it on this side. fairly warm in here in this room 84 degrees it is warm in here and again I think we hit 72 73 degrees out here so and the heat's on because it is November um, so it is extremely warm in the house so this paint is going to tack up and dry just that much quicker okay of course you don't see what I'm doing here not too much But we'll get it straight. I have to also position myself because of that up there. The string yard side. All right, we're going to come on the other side and we'll pop one here. Now, if I'm doing something a little odd or out of the norm, feel free to ask me the questions. I will answer them to the best of my ability. All right. Once again, I don't usually do little thorn stems I should but I I don't no I'm not really I'll use a little touch of water and once again thick paint glycerin in, in, in water <clears throat> not good bed fellows I just want to let you know that I got, once again I gotta be mindful of my head because of the way the camera's positioned soldier thorns so I space them out put them in try to put them in opposite parts okay I don't want to like directly have them right next to each other on the branch you know You can use a smaller brush to do it, but it's only, you know, two strokes to do them. 
and you know they're only filming. Come down a little further. Actually, I'll highlight these guys. All right. I'll be coming back to this brush a little later. Hello, Mary. See, I'm on early enough. See, um, as I was telling the other ones in here that I had to change some uh, some stuff around uh, camera wise. Um, this um, painting is not as is is scrunched up as it is it appears that way because when you guys pop on or when i popped on this is what you see um it's actually a whole lot longer but because i have how do i position how do I position my hand because i have this and this okay um it it pushes the the, the uh, camera in all right um yeah i got the third camera on here so actually camera that's looking at this is camera one that's camera two and then the uh camera three all right camera one actually they're all well no no camera one and camera three here is hooked to the webcaster this guy is independent uh of them all right but i do have a, a switcher and what the switcher does is um it separates the video out from the webcaster and so it can go into two different sources so it's going into the computer and it's going into the tv um the the actual <clears throat> the actual switcher instead of going into to the tv or to the computer directly it's actually going into the switcher and then from the switcher it's got two outputs one goes into the TV, one goes into the computer. So you see the webcaster uh, through both of them. And that's what I have. So that's why I'm able to look. If you see me looking here and I'm looking upward, that's why because I get to see the monitor here. Okay. So I'm adding a little, <clears throat> a little white to the brown. My throat, I get post nasal um, drip. I don't have a cold or anything like that. It's just, one of those gifts that you know my mom gave to me from birth she has the same thing all right i'll just highlight these guys nice little highlight nothing fancy something light enough to show i'll look at the screen here to see if it shows enough it doesn't more white much more it's still contaminated with the um Still contaminated with that, that, that uh, this mix, but I do want them to stick out, like that, especially on the side that's lit anyway. Okay. So as long as my head isn't in the way, I'm not really a big fan of. I, I like the camera, but it's it's a little it's not showing crisp enough for me. And so that kind of that kind of bothers me a bit. I probably don't have to add that little curve, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Don't necessarily have to add it. Um, on the other side, I'll just do one, just to let you know where they are. Now, some of these, hopefully my head's not in the way there. Yeah, it is kind of. I just can't see because sometimes the glycerin, when it's drying, it it, it will um, it will um, kind of blind me a little. All right, let's go here. I have to be careful because of the tape. I'll just do curve here. I'll just do the curve of them. I really shouldn't be doing 
when you see me doing it, I'm, I'm, I'm holding it like a pin and it should be really upright like that. There's a term for what I'm doing, it's called laziness. Then we'll come here because this is where the light source is and we'll kind of do this here. and Maybe not all the way. I just feel the stickiness and it's not on the paper, it's actually the tape. The tape is not porous, um, the um, paper is. I'm trying to remember, no I did not, I did not uh, prime the paper. Because I'm using water with this paint, it does dry quickly. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Even though I did not add black or these. Yeah, yeah, it does. Now that you mention it. just get away with just the white lines on this. But I'll add a little. See, I didn't want that. That's You're naturally going to do that too if you're not mindful. Okay. I really don't have to add too much um, to those little fellows. But me being me, I will just because. Now I'm just kind of Like I say, most of this is kind of dark. You're not going to see it anyway. I can get away with it up there. I don't have to do all of that. All right. So we have our little thorny things there. Okay. And it's just to give it a, the impression that the, 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 flower, the flowers will hold on. That something's holding them up. All right. <clears throat> going to uh, I'll just take some of this I'll just take a little water instead of the glycerin I'll make some leaves um, just pop out of nowhere just because I'll just have it come um, maybe I don't want to use that maybe I'll use some green instead I'll put the green right here right into the whitish brown color here And basically, I'm just going to wrap it around, wrap it around like that, and we'll just have it come over here. Let me hold the paintbrush correctly, and we're just gonna come out here. Not enough water. Once again, this paint's relatively pretty thick. We're just, I'm just gonna, you know, just place them in there. Uh, 
Uh, we have one kind of wrap this way. And just come around. Something like that coming out here. Some of this you'll see, some of this you will not. But these um, are their little vines. Mm, I'll have one come down there. Like, well, here, let's do this. Let's have it come around and sneak around and go behind this one. Make it pretty thick going around that branch. All right. <clears throat> and we'll just kind of curl it around, come on this way. I'll just take my thin brush and drill it down. We'll do a nice size one like this. Right. We'll, we'll branch him off. Something like that. And it comes that way. It comes, it just comes around and do whatever. We'll, we'll, do, we'll keep it like that for right now. So I'll do a few of these before I put the actual flowers in. All right. Okay. Let's get with, um, we'll pop some white in there with that green, um, some more green. Darken up a little bit and splotch it in there. Let's just take this. Oh, let's do it down here first. Let's see what it looks like. We'll do it this way. Take my brush. Uh, we'll go from the side and just and come up and put a little point there. Come here and you do the same thing there. Just like that. Get some more, some more green. Rub some red in there. Pop a little bit of white. Just you know, tap around it. Always put like a little a little tip to them. Come there. Well, I'm gonna put one here. Like I say, you might not see a lot of these. Okay. That's all said and done. We'll play around up here. Have one run into the other. Come on the other side here. Come on the other side. Go in the other direction. Okay. Some more paint, just various colors there. Nothing, <clears throat> nothing too serious. Come here. Um, we'll put one like right here. Um, put one down here. Put one coming across this way. Come over here. All right. Mm -hmm. we'll Tee some yellow ones in there. Kind of, sort of. Uh, right in here. Some of these you'll see, some of these you may not. It's okay. I'm just playing around, just getting out just a bunch of colors. They kind of blend in themselves. Okay. And we'll come here. Don't be afraid to run run them in to each other. Okay. Put one down here. You guys still with me here? I got such a quiet group of people. Um, you know what? We'll put it right here. We'll just put one here. Boom. Arrow around that little bit right there. Now let's have one kind of aim downward. And just give him a friend down there. Then we will come here.
Boy, I don't like the way that looks. I really want to sharpen that. It looks too like <clears throat> kind of out of focusy to me, but that's just to me. A little more green for these. Let's keep them kind of. There we go. Subtly change the colors. Just subtly. But you see how um, the colors that they, uh, that come out. See the way they look. All right. and, you know, people will think you took a little tiny paintbrush and painted all of these. But this is our secret. Hello, Jessica. Okay. So, let's um, drink some coffee. Where's my coffee? Hmm. No coffee. I must have left it or I drank it all. Okay, no coffee. <clears throat> so, right now I'm thinking of where am I going to place uh, the flowers. Hmm. Place them somewhere. If I'm thinking of where to place them, I think, you know what, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to brighten the branches up. They're fine where they are and... and Quite a few more going to be covered up anyway. So what I can do is clean up this mess that I've done. Okay. I had to go buy some brand new razor blades for this thing. Um, I dulled the other ones. I went through them quite quickly. And then I had plastic um, razor blades, which were absolutely horrendous. Um, these, once again, these are brand new blades, and you got to be extremely careful with them. Okay, we're going to, um, I want to paint yellow um, flowers here today. So yellow is semi-transparent, uh, meaning that if you paint over it just using regular yellow, semi-transparent, um, whatever you got behind that yellow is going to show through. All right, so you got to kind of beef it up with a little bit of um, white. All right, okay. I'll probably use a little bit of brown, brown, red for the for the shaded portions of the of the road. All right. So no, no, the coffee's not cold because I believe I drank the whole thing before I came on. And I don't see it around in reaching distance, so I may have drank it. I guess we'll just move right along. We'll take a half inch brush. Okay. Oh, I don't like the quality of this camera. I may have to clean the screen, but I'll worry about that later. Um, long as everybody can hear me, obviously you see me. All right, I'll soak the brush with some water, loosen up the bristles. Okay. Um, and we'll get right to it. Let's take some yellow. And right now, the way I'm going to approach this or these flowers, take a little touch of white, okay? Because you're gonna, you have to kind of give a little oomph to these guys. Okay, a slight touch of red, very slight. Gonna, gonna turn kind of orange. And it's kind of what I want. Your base color of yellow should be the last thing. All right, this is cool. This will be all right. Even a little bit of white will make the yellow, if it was yellow now, um, a little opaque, a lot more opaque. All right, okay. So I'm gonna take this mustard and um, I'll see where I wanna put the, uh, the floral. All right, okay. Mmm. So it depends on the size, how, know, how big I want these guys. So maybe I'll have a
I have a closed one right here. I'll take a little spot of red, just like that. And I'll kind of come in here a little bit. I can kind of rub that in there, no big thingy, like that. Something like that for that one. Shut up. might be adventurous and maybe I'll pop one right here I'll have it kind of come from the side like that so a little point here and then we'll kind of have it come out this way okay I'm gonna take a little touch of, of white larger dog nice real healthy bark she'll be doing it again all she's doing is reacting to who, who's coming up and down the stairs okay so we need to have two here okay mm. what direction I want the guy to go in and so maybe we'll go here it comes to a point maybe I have to go there what are you what are you what are you rumbling about nobody cares about you <coughs> nobody cares <coughs> nobody cares cares with your little baby bark nobody cares Shh. okay we, we have three they're yeah, facing that way ish okay we'll deal with that all right okay Prozac will be your best friend, dog. Let's zoom this in a little bit. We'll concentrate on the guy in the bottom. So we'll zoom that in. And we'll aim downward. And we'll bring the camera this way. Don't look for me for approval. You're killing my vibe here. I got people watching. That's right. Turn around and go away. me like you did something special go away you know what you want to give you uh, make us feel your worth make me make me a cup of coffee yeah and she walked in the kitchen too <laughs> she's staring at the at the cup yeah, so she knows what the word coffee means Yeah, she's about 28 inches high at the shoulder. Um, we would assume she's about eight months old. I know she's probably around 100 pounds now. <coughs> she was a shelter dog, so she was pretty bad. Bad off. We fattened her up a bit. <coughs> All right, let's work on this. Center of the flower of this particular flower is right there okay now usually you hear me say all roads go to Rome 
and that's somewhat true. But these flowers are this this one's a little different because we were gonna look at, at a bunch of inverted uh, petals. So they're bald, they're going inside. All right, okay. So we'll take a little bit of white. We'll use this mustard. It's okay, we, we, we'll stick with the mustard. A little glycerin in the, in the mustard. Okay, loosen it up a, a tad. And let's just shape out some petals here. Now these petals will go in, the, uh, in a different direction. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Um, we'll do the inside. I'll show you how I'm going to do this. So, to not really confuse you, okay, you see this little shape right here? I already see the petal, one of them anyway. So, we're going to come in. I'll just give a little push and go this way. A little push. And see, that little push is going to actually define that petal. Just like that. And just fade it into its you know, natural color, just like that. Now imagine doing about 20 of those, okay, or close to it anyway. Now doing it this way, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna come here, come out, it's gonna go down. And I'll have it kind of come downward, very thin. <clears throat> you see how it's starting to form okay sometimes you just need a little line like this a little ragged line like so don't even we didn't necessarily have to bring him in I just kind of rub at it like that now we have another one right in here slight push 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 there like so now it's going to start to get a little lighter on this side or more light will be shown on this side and I'll just, I'll just kind of blend it out they're going to start to get more light coming on this side all right but I'm using the uh, quarter inch brush uh, for these uh, okay and the light will start to Move a little more. We're really starting to come into it here. And go in a circular motion. Press it real hard. I really don't need the striations here. They'll come as I highlight these guys. We got uh, another one right here. We we'll come with a point there. Come here. I'll come here. But you feel how the it's starting to close up on you? Okay. I don't need some of that either because there's gonna be petals on top of those. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll just come here and just do a curve line like that. That's about all I need. And just come here because the vanishing point is different. Now remember, this is not the, the highlight color, or yeah, this is not the top color. All right, but we're gonna take some of this darker stuff and we're gonna do the same, essentially, the very same thing on the other side it's a little darker on the other side so we'll just come here and we'll put the darker stuff in here and bring it to a point there and uh well we'll get another one right in here just a line will do just like that it's really easy um see it's just a bunch of Really, a bunch of curved lines that's helping your eye uh, find this stuff. All right, not not the 
once you get accustomed to it and used to it, it's really not the hardest thing in the world. Um, we'll kind of put a baby one in here like that and we get, get rid of the other stuff and just fade it away like that. These fellows out here, you dig into a little more yellow, a little touch of white. Brighten it up a bit. A little more white. Okay. This is a very tiny brush. So you you know you don't have to go hog wild with the paint. I'll just come here. This is pretty much the light source. We'll just come out here like that. Um, I'll just come out here, little tip, spread it, and just come inside. And I'll come do the same thing on the other side, right here. Very, very light. All right. Mm, we'll come here like this and just come down like that. I'm gonna leave it like that for a second. Let's go with the other petals there. We'll come here and a little flick of color there. And we'll come out that way. And we'll do another one. We'll come out here like this. Okay, and maybe we'll have a thin one here and we'll spread it out like that. And there, like that. All right. Okay. Let's sneak some more in there. Um, let's come here because this is the brighter color. So we're just going to play around with, with some of these. Just like that. Into a little point. This is the brighter, just a brighter version of what we had before. Uh, inside and we'll play with some things in here like this come inside we'll come in here and go that way don't kill all your reds I'll kind of go in there like that <clears throat> I'll see how closed it uh starting to look there Let's take the remainder of this stuff. Um, we'll come out here. Maybe we'll pop some shorter petals in there. I don't want it to to uh, go into that red. We'll we'll keep playing around in there. Right here, we'll pop one here. We'll get a slight touch of red. Put it in here with this yellow. Okay. And we got these fellas out here. And we'll come out here like that. We'll put one in there. Like so. Maybe, maybe we'll curl it around this <coughs> branch. This little stem here. Okay. Okay like that all right how you doing Sonya didn't mean to to interrupt your stream if I knew you were on if I would have looked I wouldn't have been on so you were doing the covered bridge is she still out here no I think she might have been back room somewhere uh, let's get a little something something um let's dip into our yellow little touch of white and we'll put it in there. It doesn't take too much. Actually, I need a lot more white. Let's bring that up. Before we move on, let's do something with this. Let me make a little fold here. Touch it. Just come this way. Touch. Go in there. Touch. I'm going a little 
path that that uh, where the edge would be, and we'll just give it a nice little point there, right in here. Maybe we'll curve it there like that. Okay. All right. I kind of like that brighter <coughs> color, so we'll we'll accent some things right here, and we'll come here. We'll brighten some some things up here. Yeah, she's not here, but she would have barked already. The door is opening. She would have freaked out. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. I knew it wasn't last. Here she comes. Yeah, you're too late. You're going to get docked. No. Quit your huffing and puffing. They're already inside. You'd have been shot. Like some of these Just bits and pieces. Now you can you can play around with um, your light and, and shade now. It's just a touch of white. So we got that one going on. We have two more to go. Yeah, like I said, this one's pretty much kind of a closed thing. Oh, uh, let's take a slightly larger brush. And I'll use this one. This is fine. Let's go into our green. We'll put it right in here. A little touch of red in there. Okay. This is cool. This, this will work. All right. So we um, will kind of pop in some oval type leaves this time. Something like that. It will come out there like this. And it will come out there. So we're going to take this color, this green and red. Real fast. So we got one there. A little dark, I know, but uh, bear with me. Come here. You got one here. They're not that, that big. A little different today than the normal stuff you see me do. Uh, I'll still do the funny looking uh, striation things. But we're going we're gonna to cheat. We're going to shape up some leaves here just by framing this darkness there. And then we'll come here, we'll just have a nice little point there. We'll whiten that out. So you can put some little things in there just to get away with it. Something like that. So we got, uh, what, three in there. <coughs> so that's, that's all right. That's cool. All right. Uh, we'll continue on with, with each, each petal. I don't want to just skip around. We'll take some more uh, yellow. We'll uh, kind of put it here. A we'll touch of white in that yellow. We'll beef that up a little. Okay, might be a little bit of green in there too. Eh, why not? Pop it in there. Get some glycerin here. Put it in there. And make it really sloopy-ish. Pull it. All right. We're gonna come into here. Well, let's do it. Let's, let's do it over here. It's already dry. We're just going to come in and very lightly, almost like a little whisper wheel type of thing. Very, very light. We're going to come here. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go a little bit further than where the leaf is. Very soft. Put it in there. That is probably not bright enough. That's the glycerin. Um, doing that and plus we got a little bit of that dark color in there it's all right though it's all right and we'll put a little it's not the point's not sharp enough i'll use the corner of the brush and we'll just put a thin whatever in there and maybe we can continue this all right right there all right <clears throat>
Oh, uh, we could probably use it. A little bit of that for this. Just like that. Okay. Fine. I'm going to take advantage of this blue since I already have it out here. I don't really want to waste it. Let's see if this natural blue by itself will do the trick. This just for the darker half of the leaf. Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna come here, we're gonna do the same thing here. Just for some contrast. This is a deep blue. This is actually um, Windsor blue, very deep, dark blue. And these are almost like the traditional kind of rose petals. It's got that little oval thing going on. Done. Let's move to the next one. Let's go. Uh, let's go up here. Sorry if that was a little quick. Okay, we're gonna focus it. Um, since I've already got this um, green thing going, we'll do the we'll do the leaves first. So I put the blue in with the green. We'll slap a touch of red in there just to deepen the color. Um, a slight touch of glycerin, loosen up the paint. Oh, you just finished it, all right. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, this we will do the leaves. Actually, there will probably be more of them out this way instead. So we'll kind of get it kind of wide, and then we'll put a curve to it right there. Put a curve. Uh, that will be leaf one right here in the middle. Probably straight on. Yeah, that's a leaf too. And then we'll have a guide curve here. And that's a leaf three. Right in here. Make a little oval. Just put it up there. Alright. <clears throat> ah, you guys can see all of them. Alright. Now see what the glycerin does, how it makes it transparent. Now, if I didn't use glycerin, you wouldn't see that. But it's okay. We're gonna work right through it. We're, we're, we're good. Just for contrast. Okay. We're going to need some more Windsor Blue. Once again, I wasn't really anticipating using blue in this painting, but I have it. It's here. Deal with it. Then we'll get on to making the petals. The reason why I do the leaves first, or I would prefer to do the leaves first after I block in the flower, is because sometimes the petals cover these leaves, right?
Let's just take some of this green. It should be bright enough for this. That's fine. That'll work. It's okay. A little thick there. Thin it out. Get rid of it. All right. As I'm looking at it here. All right. We'll start with the flower now. Okay. Should I really start with that flower or should I just go to the other one and make the flowers for that? Nah, we'll just start with the flower. Well, since I already kind of wrecked this area, let's go with, um, how, can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see it. Let's put the yellow here and some white right in here. Mix it up. It's like that. It's got some green in it because of my brush, but that's okay. It'll, it'll survive. We'll just put a little touch of red. We'll make it kind of orangey. Right. I like the other one. All right. Okay. So let's start fleshing these guys out. We'll do the, um, we'll do this one here. <clears throat> we'll come in. Um, I guess we'll make that little bra thing again. We'll come here just like that. I kind of want the point. Don't worry about the green. It's all right. You're not going to see it anyway. And uh, we'll do... Um, Okay, that green on the top of the furrow, that's, that's the issue. <coughs> okay, let's get some single uh, petal deals going. Uh, we'll use the same color. Maybe a touch more yellow. With the white in it, it's okay. A little darker. Okay. Uh, we'll come out here. We'll just come out here like this. Okay, we got one there. We'll put one single one right here. Stick them out. Put them right in there like that. All right, we got a couple more. Just kind of pop up. Point right in there. We're just kind of curving around. Then we got these. We'll turn it. Jack, hello Jack, welcome to the group. Just gonna put a little glycerin in there, loosen up the paint. <clears throat> I use and prefer heavy body paint for this particular style of painting. All right, okay. I said I was gonna look at the camera more. Have I done it? No. Nope. Silly. Okay. Let's have this, no, here, let's do this one. Let's have a fold come out. 
um, we'll come here real thin, real thin, and we'll kind of get a little push, a little crooked push right here, and maybe fold out. And then we'll just make it disappear right around in here. Like that. All right, so that one's kind of folded out to us. So that color automatically gives it kind of a shadow. All right, the other one's flipped going the other way. So this one will give a little push and we're gonna come out that way. Slight push, come that way. Go up a little bit. It's gonna get, go directly in the center and then with with going to turn the other direction like that. All right. <clears throat> Pardon me, all my hacking. I know it sounds really sad. A little more white than um than yellow. We're gonna come here and we're just gonna brighten those little edges up there. And what this does is just separate the uh, petals. like that all right so you got one that's turned the other one's going upward i like this um brightness so we're gonna we're gonna use that for this one touch of bright and come in it is just that little it makes all the difference in the world really more yellow we'll come back here and we'll start to add quote unquote highlights back here Let's get a little fold here, just because I can. One here, one here, one here. We'll just come in and get a point there. And we'll bring that in now. We'll come here. I don't have to really press. These guys are in the back. All right. Uh, here, we'll get a little fold. We'll get a folded petal back there. And a folded petal, if it's near us, it's a little brighter. So we'll just kind of fold it. Just little interesting little things going on there. With acrylic paint, naturally, once it dries, it's a little darker. So we'll beef up this yellow again. We'll come here and add some white there. And, and strengthen up that edge just a tad. Um, we'll come here and curve it around a bit. Probably can strengthen that edge a little bit like that and come out here with this one. Okay, all right. <clears throat> so it's all a building process, you know. All right, okay. Rinse all of this off. We got one more. This one's gonna have um, glycerin flourishes outside. This would be the bigger one, okay? Um, so let's get right to it with this guy. Let's take this yellow 
we'll just use what we have here. And I already see where it's going. So we'll come here. We'll just make the bowl right here. Right here's the bowl. Okay. Right in there. We'll take the, re <coughs> the rest of this. Oh, uh, I got it. Yeah, we'll do it here. And uh, I'll put a little something here. I'll put a little... here pop someone in here and I'm just messing with the pretty much the underbelly of the flower right now it will be partially covered with other petals so this would be like the, the pretty much the bottom come here this is the it's facing us but they're turned inward so I'll just give a little push and come this way push that way push it gets straight we got an angle here just like that okay we got another one right here a little higher and then it gets lower going on the other side there We'll brighten that up just like so. Okay, all right. So think about what layers, which how you want to put these, where you want to put them, you know, how you want to put them. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, let's let's play around in here with some brighter ones. But come in between right in here. Not don't go into the red all the way. You know, kind of pop one in there like that. And look. Let's go over here on this side. We'll come here, give it a little push, and I'll just curve it in a little higher. Curve it in higher, go straight ahead, higher, lower, lower. Let's curve it right in there. <clears throat> like that. So you, know, you got two going in different directions. All right. Okay. Let's get some more color. Repeat the process a bit. Let's actually take this. All right, we'll take this line right here and we'll just flip it this way. So now you got a pedal that's flipped. Look at that. And we'll just kind of curve it like that. All right, it's the line that gives it, the, gives it away. Okay, like that. All right, all right. As you notice, the brighter the color, the more it sticks out, the original base color goes back all right and we're the lights more on this <clears throat> on this side okay and with that said let's come over here and just brighten this up a little bit just because Okay. 
let's get a nice rim of white, just white. And just make this one stick out a little more. It's that bright white that helps it out like that. Just like that. And put a little rim of white here. It's just to give your eye somewhere to go, somewhere to follow. I'm just using a little bit of just pure white right now, direct highlight. And it's just a, a slight touch. All right. And it's like that. Come here. And you can actually, if you got something that doesn't really groove and match with you, you can always change it just by adding that white you can correct media ills you know if you desire to all right of course you guys seen none of that sorry about that um but what i did as i was running my mouth is i just brightened up some spots okay you don't need too much just to show where the light source would be right, but that's what i did and since I did it, and I kind of spoke so well about it, I had to do it on the other flower so you can actually see it. The gray. All right, right here, right here. I'll just add the white here and show you what I did. All right, see that? Just a little touch will do this. I'll flip the brush around, I got more white there, here we go. Okay. All right. A little bit of more white. I'm just using the tip of the brush for that, just to outline it, okay? And it, once again, it just brings out where the light source is. Just a little touch, okay? Now, say you got light hitting over there. I have to move my head, adjust my head to see what the heck I'm doing here. Still want that rim of white paint on the edge. But bring some of the white inside, right, just to show where that light source is going. And plus, you can frame. I'm going to kill you. I hate little little fruit fly things. There's no food in here, but I get fruit flies. It's terrible. This time of year, it's, for some reason, they're bad. And I'm just outlining that curve. Just outline That's it. That's all. All right. Let's pop some um, brighter flowers like in here. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get the yellow. Yeah. Uh, you guys can see it a little better. See what I'm doing over here. Right in here. A little yellow. Once again, yellow semi-transparent. You need a touch of white to beef it up a little bit. All right. come over here we'll just come here and make a little wedgie thing there right that and what we'll kind of cut in come into the program like this all right all right I'll take most of the paint off the brush we'll just take some white because it's still wet it'll just blend in and I'll come here push go this way Push, still go that way. Push, you're getting toward the middle. Push, now you're in the middle. Push, go the other way. Push, go the other way. Push, go the other way. There you go. All right. So now it looks like it's just cupped. It comes out and it's cupped again. Okay. If, you know, flowers and roses and stuff are your thing, you'll learn this. You will, you will learn it. You'll get accustomed to it. All right. But like I said, this one's going to be the big beauty. It's going to have all sorts of craziness going on. Let's go to these. Um, I'll just brighten up this little bit of yellow I have here. Since it is the lit side, I can, we can show off a little bit. Right in here. Boom. Just like that. Right here, we'll add a kind of point there. Going in, going in. And we'll curve him in. Uh, I 
think we should be good there, as far as that's concerned. We're going to take a little touch of red. That's a little more than a touch, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of heavy. That was kind of heavy on the red, that's all right. We use a little bit of, uh, we use a bit of white, that's okay, too. All right, um, might be a little too heavy on the red, I don't like that. I still want it more yellowish back there. <clears throat> so, if I get something like that, I'll use this, I'll get rid of this. Let's make some of this go away. Okay. I got a beach towel on my lap and the bucket that I toss all my water out and everything. It's right beside me here, right off camera. Let's take um, some yellow. Okay. And just a little bit of that pinky stuff and we'll deepen that yellow. The pinky stuff does have white in it, so we're good. So we just darkened our yellow a little bit. All right. I don't believe I need glycerin for this part. And we'll come here. And I'll just come here and press and go ahead and press. Yeah, we do. It's too transparent. Got to beef it up just a touch. I don't want it uh, too transparent back there. So we'll do it again. That's better. That's better. Actually, we'll make a little fold in here. Boom, boom, boom. boom. We'll just kind of give it a little fold right there. All right. It doesn't necessarily have to be too bright. It is a flower in the back, back. You know, it's in the background there. We'll come out here like this. And we'll give it a little, little push. And we'll kind of have it come down and around like that. So we got different shades and hues of yellow going on here. Come right on down there like that. I think that's good enough. We're going to come back in and we're going to put some in here. Like that, we're gonna come, we're gonna do another one <clears throat> up here. This is where this rim of color helps you out, kind of differentiates things. Um, come here, pop one on the side, boom. Then we're gonna get a couple little ones in here, like this. Come up, all right, just like that. Okay, let's do something I have not really done in quite some time. As a matter of fact, we're gonna. We're going to do it um, for this one. Well, let me see. Let me see. Before I even uh, think about doing that, let me see something. Do I really want to do that over there? No. Let's stay here. I have to pull back, though. Okay, we should be in there. Let's focus that. Let's bring that back up. All right. So we're going to get some little flourishy deals happening over there all right okay well before i do any of that let's put the let's put the um the leaves in before i do that we'll do that we'll do that let's go into our a little bit of glycerin we'll come here you know kind of reactivate this mess we have in here it's just the blue and the, the green mix. All right. Okay. Let's come. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll shadow in some stuff right here. It's, it's, it'll be that oval type of leaf. Just like that. We have one there. Um, we'll just play around. We'll have another oval leaf right in here. Just, boy, we have it go up in direction okay all right uh hmm. 
would have it come here. Once again, we'll just kind of shape these leaves, make it a little rougher by just adding that dark green in there, and then we'll have it oval, and we'll just come to a point somewhere around the, that area. Okay, all right. Let's take um, a wee bit of yellow. We'll just put it in there, a little touch of white. Just like that. Touch of glycerin. <clears throat> Come outward and put it in there, just like this. You pretty much keep close to the shape of the petal itself. Obviously, we're gonna go a little brighter than that, but let's get these done. Make sure my head isn't in the way. I'll just move up a little bit. Glycerin is quite um, reflective. It's a little difficult to see. Just like that. Of course, we're gonna brighten that a little. Let's just take a little white. I'm not getting rid of my previous color. It will tend to grow on you a little bit. All right, <clears throat> as you make the petal slightly larger. I'm going slightly beyond what I put down originally. Just wanted to kind of make them pop a little bit. Okay. I take some of this blue. Don't really have to add much um, to the blue. I want the blue to be in there, but I don't want to get rid of all the, of, uh, the green that's in there either. We'll come over here on this side. Just like that. We'll bring some light in there. Pat it in there like that. in there hey anybody else you can talk to me here all right let's take let's get rid of some of this and I'll show you what I'm talking about I did this a lot earlier when I was starting on doing uh, florals and uh, I just somehow I guess over time I got I gotten away from it What I'm going to do is uh, make some transparent petals, okay? And much like you see the white rim here, I'm going to essentially do the same thing um, with the white, uh, but with the yellow with a lot of, of glycerin, I'll do petals outside here. They're going to go over the leaves, okay? They come up, and, you know, a few of them will come around. So I might keep it more on this side, okay? To kind of balance things out. I may put some on this flower maybe but primarily like around in here somewhere um maybe something here this is just to make it a little bit bigger and even out this painting overall that's basically uh, what i'm gonna do okay so before i go ahead with that let's just take this very 
beat down of silver and large silver. I'll take a little red. I don't think I need to add anything much to this red. It's just, just the red. We'll come in here. We'll put little cute little stay mini things in here. If I feel I have to brighten the red a bit, I will, but I don't think so. I'll look at it on the other screen. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. I'll put a couple in here. Okay. Here, they have to, have to be careful. They go. They don't. They go past. They're here above the other the, the fold. So I just gotta be a little careful putting them there. Like that. I'll take a little white. where the light source is coming from. I'll pop a couple in here toward the bottom. And this one's opposite. This one would be toward the rear. Like that. All right. All right. That's really what I wanted to do as far as that's concerned. I'm off the board, people away. Okay. Here we go. We'll start to um, put in some of those petals I was talking about. So we'll take a semi, that's obviously a semi transparent yellow here. All right. Yellow semi transparent to begin with. All right. Yellow semi transparent. So. I really don't have to add glisten to semi-transparent. You'll see in a second. All right, let's uh, let's go here. Um, we'll, we'll put one like right in here like this. And I don't have to add too many stripes. I just want the pattern. Then we'll come here. We'll do another one. We'll even have a. I'll do it the slick way. I'll have a fold right here. Just come out like that. I have a fold right there. But in here, right out here, it's, it's, I just go out here like this. We'll come out here and we'll kind of put all of that in like that. And then I'll just take it and I'll curve it inward. You see how it's going past that those petals there for the semi uh, transparent. All right, you see what's going on there? Okay. Really slick, sly stuff you can do. So now you got a petal that looks like it's, you know, you obviously you can see right through it. And it's still part of the flower. Okay. Uh, we'll come here like this. And then we'll come right through, right past this flower here. Past it. This is where that little edge rim of color comes through. All right. I just have to be careful. I don't take some of that green and put it there because the glycerin does carry over. So be careful. Be careful. I'll take a touch of ugh, not a touch of that. Let's take all of that and put it in the bucket of forgetfulness. All right. That color. Can somebody say hello? Something? Just a little touch of white in this semi-transparent. I don't want to go too crazy with this. Okay. All right. So to make that stand out, we just get a nice little rim of color. Just, just like this, look. Not too not too much. I can um, just overlap a little bit. Maybe we have a little stronger bit of color here. A 
but still it's transparent color so don't add too much you still want it now for the fold you can you can play around with the fold a little bit all right because there's, there's a fold there let's get a little touch of white and let's frame that right here a touch go this way a little, a little touch we got really play that fold out there then we come back in go the other way just like that come on in with it okay all right okay and you're just giving the impression of the actual leaf and stuff you don't have to add to it just a, a nice strong rubber color will, will suffice just that outside that all right that will that will be good enough like that <clears throat> okay all right let's do some more of that We'll do well we have three i really don't have to do any more to that not necessarily i can bring it no oh, here we'll do this we'll come out and we'll bring it in put one here one here and then we'll just kind of have it covered by the other one just like that okay all right all righty then should I put one over here like that? I think so. So let's get some glycerin. We'll put it right in there. Why not? Uh. Just like this. get rid of the striations now this paint is dry so i don't have to worry about it uh, smearing Could have it come over that flower so we'll just get a just like that get rid of striations there and since it's the back part i'll just kind of frame it this way with this color Some white, a little bit of white. Well, thank you, Mary. And we'll just we'll we'll start here. Just an edge like this. Just like that. We'll put a little line in there and something on there. Right here, we got one coming in. Get it to come over. Like 
little rim of color so it appears to be over the other leaf. And we'll, we'll fade that out of there like that. And then we'll come back in. Just a little touch of, of that color, a little, little touch. All right. Okay, this one, same thing. We'll kind of broaden it out, erase that. Just want the line come out here. this yes you can you guys can see it i'll just come over here and get a little shell of something and we'll just kind of place it in there like that i can probably do a little bit of that here we'll just kind of give it a little frame and okay and let's fade that I'm looking at things, I'm checking it out. I'm like, mm, okay, no, it'll work, it'll work. Um, yep, yeah, it'll work. Okay. I'm still thinking of things. I don't think I truly need to add anything else. I think I'll throw a butt or two in there, then we'll call it a day. So we'll go to, um, this brush, this guy right here. Actually, you guys don't even need to see the palette anymore. I'll make it disappear. There. Yeah, you won't see me either. Yeah, that's over. I think that would be good. Let's turn it this way. I think we'll be okay. Put the focus on there, sharpen it up a little bit. All right. And now you see the picture, you know, pretty much as as it is. Okay. It is er, uh, a little curved or a little angled because of the way the uh, the positioning positioning of the camera, positioning of the uh, board, uh, the painting itself. Okay. All right. Let's throw some nice little bud things in there. Um, I guess the buds could be yellow. Ooh, crap. And before I do that, I'm going to have to definitely mix these two. Let's mix the yellow and the white together real fast. We need to do this so they um, stand out, actually. So it's nothing but yellow and white. There. Let's get rid of that. Okay, this is pretty neat, uh, shown to me by the Jenkins, um, really neat, I love it, uh, here, dip the whole brush in yellow, like that, oh, you guys can't see that, uh, let's see, I gotta think, uh, nope, it won't be that one, I forgot which one to show you. I have to show you this, though. So. so I have to bring this back. Sorry, guys. No, not that. Okay. 
Kitty, I can't show you that. I'm so sorry, guys. Hold on. That was my bad. That was my brain. There we go. Okay. Yellow, right? And then you take the green. Put the green right on the tip there. Like that. Okay, probably plenty of it. It all depends on where I want to, how far I want to go. So it looks like this. Okay. All right. See, looks like that. Okie dokie then. I want to put it, because we got stuff happening over here. Let's go over here. Okay. So we'll come here. Um, I'm just resting my hand on, on my other hand. And let's see if I can actually do this without mucking it up. We're going to come here with this dark green. And we're just going to calm down, calm down, come on. We'll go behind that. And we'll come down, 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 er, press. And you got a bud there. Isn't that cool? You gotta love it. You gotta love it. I do. Okay. Uh, we could probably darken that a little bit. So I'll just retrace a little. Come back around in here. Okay. A little more green there. All right, so that's one. Uh, we'll have one come from out of here, here and have them come over that, right? And we'll pop them right up there. All right. I don't know why I enjoy doing these. I do. Okay, you just can't leave it in tools, you know, the odd number thing. Oh, yeah. Well, we have it come over. Come over the other fella. Come down here. And we'll just put him down there like that. All right, I'll get enough green here to retrace that. I'll try to clean that screen and see if that, that helps it out. Or I may have to just um, get the other camera. But I think I, I dogged it out pretty good. I don't know if I really need to put anything else over on this side. I'll let you be the judge of that. I'll get rid of this. Okay. It's already somewhat straightened out. I'll kind of straighten it out from the top. See if that appears. A little bit better there. All right. Um, once again, I'll pop it in focus the best I can for you guys. All right. We are an uh, hour and 52 minutes in. Um, it's going on nine o'clock. Okay. So, should I add more stuff on the other side or should I just leave it be? I, I personally think I should leave it be. I think it's, I think it's, it's finished. But um, you guys let me know. I'll give you a few seconds or so. Um, I'll sign my name. And just let me know. see somebody text. I will check it out in a second. Yes, I believe it's balanced also. I do. I agree. I concur. Oops. Uh, it got me. <laughs> My pen rolled into the page. It got me. It's okay. Okay, I can actually take this towel off of me. Put it right here. 
All right, let's take this off. You know what? Oh, no. Never mind. This is just my preference to add a frame or add a border, excuse me, um, to my paintings. This is double, um, this is watercolor paper, 12 by 18. And I just um, glue two sheets together. That's all. Makes it a whole lot more sturdy. I do put water on it while the tape's on it, so it, it wrinkles and it comes back. So when I put this stuff on there, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, buckle. So, oh yeah, yes, I do push buttons, but unlike a good buddy of mine, my 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 buttons mean something. <laughs> they actually do what it's supposed to do. Um, I forgot that that window will will stay on when I switch to uh, that main angle. The camera that's free of, of the um, webcaster, um, it can't come back when I put it on, on uh, this certain channel. Okay. So, yeah. But yeah, that's it, guys. That's, that's uh, you know, once again, when I did the, uh, the little, the little, um, stems I knew you wouldn't really see all of them but I painted like you actually will see all of them um, just because it doesn't ruin the flow of, of, uh, of the painting okay and that's fine that's okay you know um, but you guys know the deal I'll snap a picture of this and uh, it'll be posted on Facebook and on Instagram um Obviously, I got to make a thumbnail um, in a few minutes uh, for this. So, but it only take me a few minutes. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching this evening. I do appreciate it. Hope uh, you learned something from it. Um, maybe, you know, if you want to try these out, you can, you know, hopefully use some of these uh, techniques. You know, I know it started out crazy. But hopefully you like to see the results. I haven't done too many yellow um, florals, um, but I decided to do them. And I have, it's been a while since I had them flipping and going off to the different directions. And it's been a while since I did the cabbage looking thing here. So um, it was fun. And I really wanted to show you guys the um, transparent leaves. Really, and I did a different batch of petals instead of the ones you usually see me do. All right, um, yeah. So, did Dance eighty seven come in here? I think they did, didn't they? Yeah, Jack did come in here. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're late to the party. Uh, Dance must might have danced off there, Jessica. All right. I appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you very much. I shall see you when I see you. And until next time, peace.